Today, the MTA is making key decisions that will eventually make it more expensive to travel into and around New York City. The MTA board is set to approve a 15 cent fare hike for subway and bus rides, and a six member MTA panel will develop recommendations on a toll structure for congestion pricing. One proposal under review would charge $23 for a rush hour trip into Midtown. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller, live in Lower Manhattan with all you need to know. Thank you, Derek. Charlene, good afternoon. The MTA board meeting across the street from the Bowling Green Station as we speak. And it doesn't matter if you're taking the train, the bus, driving your own car, taking a taxi. You are going to pay more to get around the New York City area. And of course, as you can imagine, some subway riders not exactly thrilled about that. Trains are so old as hell. Like half the trains don't have AC. Rasan Douglas, not exactly thrilled about paying more for the same old service. The trains are still dirty, there's, there's homeless people everywhere, it's still pretty dangerous, so it's like we're paying for more, but we're not getting anything out of it. Say goodbye to 275. Starting August 20th, base subway and bus fares are expected to go up to 290. And that's not all. Seven and 30 day unlimited metro cards are also going up. And so is the express bus fare. The move will boost MTA revenue by more than 300 million a year, with ridership still down from the pandemic. Ridership has been low, and so they need to make their money back based on the pandemic, but. I don't think that that was a good time. It comes after Governor Kathy Hochul's budget infused the MTA with more than a billion dollars in new funding. The agency says without it, the fare hikes would have been worse. When the budget was proposed last November, we were facing these large deficits. The state budget agreement provides roughly six and a half billion dollars to eliminate those previously projected deficits. The MTA also operates nine bridges and tunnels, and guess what? Those tolls are going up too by five and a half percent. And not only are they raising the tolls, they're adding more tolls because another part of this is congestion pricing. In fact, another board, the Traffic Mobility Review Board, they're going to be meeting uh, across the street here at 4 o'clock this afternoon to start talking about this congestion pricing plan, uh, tolling drivers who come south of 60th Street that could uh, take effect by uh, next spring. And they'll be talking about who's going to be paying, who's going to be exempt, and how much. Report